Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. The answer key of the December exam has come. Everybody, happy Hello, New Year. Everyone. The answer key of the December exam has come and everybody is worried about what is the cutoff. Well, let us take a look at the question papers, questions and uh, do a review. Before that, you are anxious to know about what I think about the cutoff. We have discussed here with all our teachers and students. And I'm here to tell you what we feel. It is not completely right to speculate. But they conducted this time exam in one shift because the percentile system is going to go. There will be less confusion. Percentage system will come. However, because of the cyclone situation in Chennai and Tamil Nadu, there was another exam conducted. So I'm not really sure whether it will still be the percentage system but because there were two exams anyway. But there is no need to worry. It is getting better. Now in the 2017 year, there was the rule that the top 6% will only pass out of everybody who goes above the cutoff. Now, uh, there was a lot of anxiety and worry because one time in the combined exam, it went down to 4%. However, in other exams, especially in the other combined exam that we had in the, you remember in the 2020, 21, 22 period, there were two combined exams. And there were times when the percentile went up to 11%. Last time it was 6.88%. So there is no injustice as such. Many people have cleared because of this. This time, we looked at the polls. A lot of coaching centers together shared one poll and we got thousands of responses. I feel like the exam was tough for many people because of especially the paper one question that you got. Uh, and paper two uh, was not that tough. So it is, when we think of the exam, you feel like, oh, it's difficult. But there are people who got through paper one, of course. And when you think of that, you know, the total number of people who pass could be high because uh, a lot of people did get through paper one. Only those people who found it difficult would speak about it. Um, there are some chances that the cutoff can be high, I think because uh, the syllabus is also going to change. However, we can't say for sure. You don't have to be worried. You don't have to lose hope. You don't have to think negatively. Maybe uh, you will pass also because many times after the exam, we find that many of you are on the brink, you know, very close. So be positive. When we look at our uh, questions, uh, you will also see that it is not that bad. I'm actually happy looking at the questions. Let us start with paper one. Uh, because of time constraints, I'm not going to explain a lot of things, uh, even though I have been studying these questions. In 2022, if the expenditure of a company was 15%, according to this, and this data interpretation, uh, was very tricky for many people. And I'm sure some of you uh, are sad because you went wrong and right, right at the beginning you got this question. Now, when you write another exam, you should remember this. Don't get stressed just because the first question is difficult. Here, their answer is uh, option A here. That is 250.976. That is the income of the company in 2022 in million. Uh, I hope you got that right. 
the following table shows the income and expenditure of a certain company. That is this data interpretation again. And here, uh, the option given is option number four. Option number four. That is 38%. Right, guys? Now, uh, again, data interpretation question. Same data interpretation. Now, profit in 2020 is how many percentage more than in 2018? These questions are uh, a combination of data interpretation and the profit and loss. So from now on, you have to study uh, mathematics and data interpretation in a little uh, detailed manner. It is not enough to just somehow uh, get the equations and formula right. You have to really go deeper into it. So at TESS also, we are working on that. This time, paper one will be completely revamped because of this exam. Good. Now, uh, the average of the income of the company is 236. That is option B here. Now, uh, last question, I think. Uh, if the loss incurred by the company in 2019 was 33.2 million more than the profit of the company in 2018, then the person incurred by the company loss percent is 25%. Loss percent is 25%. That is how it is given here. Now there is one question, uh, question number six. An epistemological position that advocates the application of the methods of the natural sciences to the study of social reality and beyond. Epistemological position, knowledge position that advocates the application of the methods of the natural sciences to the study of social reality. That means... You understand social reality. From there, you understand science. And these are related. Answer is positivism. Uh, interpretivism, objectivism, and constructivism are clearly wrong there. Even if you do not know positivism, it is none of these. It is kind of clear to me. The organized bodies of information stored in memory that bias the way new information is interpreted, stored and recalled. The organized bodies of information stored in memory. And these bias the way new information is interpreted, stored and recalled. It's called schemas. So uh, I hope you will read extra about all this from now on. Look at the previous question papers. Read extra. What is uh, schemas? You should read extra. A certain sum of money doubles in four years at a compound rate of interest per annum. The rate of interest given is about 18.9 percentage. That is also a math question. Then what is the correct sequence of steps followed from initial to last during water treatment process? The correct sequence of steps followed C, D, A, B. It's correct. Screening. Then when you do screening, then there will be sedimentation. Then you have filtration. And then lastly, coagulation. These are the steps in water treatment process. Uh, given below are two statements. IPv6 address in computer networking is four times larger than IPv4 address. These are not very simple uh, ICT questions. What is bit? What is byte? Like that they used to ask many years ago, some years ago. But now things have changed and you have to understand things more deeply. The IP address gives the location on a device on the internet. Whereas the MAC address identifies the device connected to the internet. Both are correct. Both these statements are correct. Now, again, a math question. A train moving at a speed of 63 kilometers per hour enters a railway station and crosses the platform in 20 seconds. If the length of the train is 100 meter, what is the length of the platform? This is a typical question that they always ask. Many of you might have got it correctly. It is 250 meter. Uh, all these things I will explain another time and another time with 
uh, the explanation. But today I did not attempt that because we are more into what are the mistakes here and how can we challenge the questions? Yeah. Statement one, according to Buddhism, linguistic communication should be used to adopt moral stance. Linguistic communication to adopt a moral stance. Critical introspection is not preferred by Buddhists as part of intrapersonal communication. That's obviously wrong. Critical introspection is not preferred by Buddhists. That is wrong. So statement one is correct, but statement two is incorrect. All right, that is good. And this is also a simple question. So they are adopting a stress-based technique here, I should say, because um, you know what? Because they want you to be in control of yourself. You should not be, you know, totally distracted. Do you understand? And you should not be nervous in the exam hall. All right. Next question. The University of Punjab was established in Lahore. The University of Punjab was established in Lahore to reduce the burden of the university. And which university did they want to reduce the burden of? University of Punjab. When were these universities established? Obviously, Calcutta University is established before Punjab. So, Calcutta. Then, given below are two statements. Given below are two statements. In teacher-centered learning, the teacher gives up the traditional decision-making role and chooses instead the role of a facilitator who focuses on students' feelings. The teacher gives up traditional decision-making role and focuses on the role of a facilitator. That doesn't seem right. Facilitator is correct, but gives up traditional decision-making completely is not right. Focuses on students' feelings is also not right. And uh, in learner-centered method, the teacher attempts to see the world as the students see it. Correct. Creating an atmosphere of empathetic communication. That is correct. So statement one is incorrect. Statement two is correct. Now, match the following. Window represents an area on the screen that displays information for a specific program, correct? Icon represents a folder or a program can be seen within a window or freestanding on screen, correct? Then menu contains list of options for a certain program. So answer is pointer used to select many options. If you read carefully, that is easy. One problem with this is, this question is it might take time because there are, uh, you know, too many things to read. So you should be very good at reading. Very good at reading. Next. Which of the following statements are logically equivalent? No liquids are beverages. No beverages are liquids. You know, this is logical reasoning. We have to study logical reasoning very thoroughly. There are very easy ways to do that. We have got uh, at Valat some new teachers also who will uh, teach you that. This is very, very important logical reasoning, as you know. And these days, Indian logic is also included. So A and B are logically equivalent. I'm not attempting to explain. I will do that in another life. Uh, which of the following was recommended by the Hunter Commission? Answer is participation of private enterprise in higher education participation of private enterprise in higher education. Which of the following belong to the field of proxemics in communication? Uh, B, C, and D. Crowding, territoriality, and personal space. I think that is also correct. Crowding, territoriality, and personal space are all about proxemics. Uh, of course, facial expression and eye contact are not uh, proxemics. It is uh, wrong. Statement one, millennium development goals are mainly targeted at developing of poor countries. Sustainable development goals are targeted at all countries. 
both are correct where both are correct then uh, the ability to generate unusual yet appropriate responses to problems or questions is known as convergent thinking ability to generate unusual yet appropriate responses to problem that is not convergent thinking the ability to produce responses that are based primarily on knowledge and logic the ability to produce responses that are based primarily on knowledge and logic is called divergent thinking that is also not right both are incorrect according to classical indian school of logic sound is eternal because it is audible is fallacious sound is eternal because it is audible it because you can hear it it is eternal that's ab absolutely wrong uh it is correct that is fallacious according to classical indian school of logic the argument sound is eternal because it is audible commits the fallacy of irregular middle term where the middle term is too wide that is not that is not correct it is not about middle term that that is incorrect so uh, we have found that that is uh, that answer is correct here uh, no test provides a perfect picture of a student's abilities and skills a test is only one small sample of a student's performance that is also correct a test provides uh, a perfect picture of no test provides a perfect picture correct a test is only a small sample that's a very easy question correct uh, identify the similarities between quantitative and qualitative research both are concerned with data reduction quantitative research and qualitative research both are cons both are uh, about data reducing it to conclusions both are concerned with variation in data that is correct uh both lay emphasis on context and generalization not correct both concerned with answering research questions obviously correct e is very easy correct a uh, quantitative research can have contextual but not always yeah mm. in an arithmetic series having 50 terms the first and last terms are 3 and 9 respectively what is the sum of the series these are all easy questions if you know the formula and the tricks answer is uh, b 50 50 now identify the sampling issues that are problematic in online surveys i'm not explaining because uh, every question even though my team has helped me every question will take a lot of time to explain so i will do it over a series of videos later on a c and d many people use more than one internet service provider identify the sampling issues ha huh, that is a sampling issue uh, a household may have one computer but several users Internet users are a biased sample of the population. These are the an uh, answers given by NTA. I think that is right. Uh, then, when the primary function of communication is to convey new information, it is known as referential function. Uh, communication that conveys new information. Uh, you are referring to some new information. Which among the following is an open source software for data analysis uh, that is a, again a knowledge based question if you know it it is easy r if the statement some rectangles are not squares is given as true then according to the square of opposition which of the following statements can be immediately inferred to be false all rectangles are squares that is the answer that they have given we believe that is right then the sum and difference of two numbers are 19 and 7, respectively. What is the sum of their squares? It is option C, 205. We will analyze these in a YouTube video very soon. Uh, which of the following are the components of pedagogical analysis uh, of teaching and learning? A, B, C, D. All are there. Objective formulation. Selection of teaching methods and materials, content analysis, selection of evaluation devices. Now, you having listened to this much, let me say, I believe that the cutoff, uh, 
I, I don't know for sure, of course. It's just only a speculation. If you get like 90 to 91 questions right or out of all 150 questions, you are in a safe zone. And right now, if you have maybe uh, 89 questions right, uh, it is possible that when you contest some questions that are wrong, you can, um, some questions are obviously wrong. You will be able to get two or four marks. So 88, 89% in general category, uh, number of questions, correct, in general category must be safe. And uh, then uh, OBC is proportionately uh, maybe four or five questions less. So though many of you have contacted me saying you have that, that many marks, that must be good. More laws, 31st question here. More laws have been added on the books uh, in past five years uh, than ever before. Yet the number of crimes committed during the same period has significantly increased. What fall is therefore to bring the crime down, we must eliminate the laws. I have the feeling, I this sounds very uh, familiar. I have the feeling I said the same thing in YouTube Live or something about laws and crime. That's a very famous example of a, a fallacy. Many of you got wrong here. You said red herring, straw man, slippery slope, but false clause is the fallacy. We have to study these thoroughly. I'm not an expert in this, but at NET, we have got experts in uh, logical reasoning and all the topics now we have, uh, you know, we are completely ready for the next exam. If you are joining for paper one now, you won't be disappointed because uh, the previous teachers as well as new teachers are all there ready to help you now. Uh, in comparison to secondary computer storage, primary storage is faster, more expensive per unit of storage and not persistent. Our teachers think this is right. A security system records video footage. One minute of video requires 180 megabytes of storage. The recording system can store several hours of video footage. How much storage would be needed for two hours of video footage? The answer given to me is 21.1 gigabytes. Okay, when I explain these videos, I will do it with the teachers of paper one so that they will be able to explain for you. Statement uh, 20, uh, sorry, question number 34. Uh, the Nalanda University in ancient India attracted students from various parts of Asia. The Nalanda University is overshadowed by the universities in Europe and Arabia immediately after its establishment. Second statement is not correct. Even if you don't know much about it, I feel like you can guess it. First statement is correct. I was taking a drink of water. Um, which of the following are true about producer gas? It is a result of conversion of solid biomass into gaseous uh, fuels. Correct. It can be used as fuel in internal combustion engines. Correct. And E is hydrogen and methane present in producer gas determine its heating value. A, C, and E are the answers. According to our teachers, it is NT and it is correct. Which of the following steps were taken by the University Grants Commission during the second five-year plan? A, B, C only. Introduction of a three-year degree course, improvement in libraries and laboratories, an increase in the salaries of university teachers. That was a second five-year plan related to UGC. So now that's a new area. We did not expect this. Which of the following contextual factors determine meaning in communication behavior? A, B, C. Meaning is determined by physical location, by participants, and by preceding events. Such questions are easy only if you think of uh, uh, an example, like the classroom. You know, if you think of, then you'll be able to guess correctly. Uh, given below are two statements. One is labeled assertion. The other is reason. DDT bioaccumulates in tissues in many species, including humans. That's very common knowledge. It's very true. DDT is relatively soluble in water, uh, insoluble in water, but readily soluble in fats and oils. That is why it enters the system. True. Easy question. Identify the correct uh, reasons for writing a literature review. A, B, C, D, all are correct. You need to know what is already known in connection with your research area. It may help you to develop an analytical framework. It will help with the interpretation of your findings. It may suggest further research questions for you. 
A, B, C, D. Correct. Uh, 40. What, which of the following research institutes were established between first and third five-year plans? Indian Institute of Science is wrong. Five, first and third five-year plans. B, C, D. That's a tough question because we didn't expect that. B, C, D. Well, uh, the Convention on Biological Diversity. I think all of you will have to do UPSC coaching also. <laughs> Anyway, the Convention on Biological Diversity is dedicated to promote sustainable development conceived as a practical tool for translating the principles of Agenda 21. Listen to me. Uh, I, I was joking. You know, you don't have to do UPSC coaching, but we can bring UPSC coaching into Paper 1 classes. That is what I've done. Uh, we, have, we are getting a lot of people who have done UPSC coaching also. So you don't have to worry about it. Find the next term in the following letter series. A M J G J M G S D. I am not going into the analysis, but um, our teachers have said it is Y A N T A is right. Um, if uh, P eight represents the number P in base eight, then answer is two. I am not an expert in any of these things. But our teachers are experts, so they have given this answer and NT is right. Um, as per square of opposition, which of the following propositions are so related that if one of them is true, the other must be false or vice versa? Answer is A and D. Okay, I'm just uh, reading it now for you. All mammals are vertebrates. Some mammals are not vertebrates. These are not easy questions, guys. You have to study really, really thoroughly and uh, in a very concerted manner. Well, uh, one of the four maxims of conversation, quantity maxim, that is one of the four maxims, uh, reflects the right amount of information. It is information. There is a comprehension question. Uh, answer given is parents and teachers. Parents and teachers. Comprehension question. A child becomes an enlightened human being as a result of value-based education. That is C and, D, C and E. There are some tricks and uh, techniques that you should follow for a comprehension also which we are working on, which we are teaching our students these days. You should not read the uh, passage first itself. There is another technique that you can follow by reading the questions. That saves a lot of time. A good examination system should A, B, D. Encourage rote learning is obviously wrong. It is obviously wrong. Then, uh, what is essential for building the nation of our dreams? Value-based education. Right. Uh, statement one and two. Two is uh, the answer. Schools should be only centers of education. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Obviously wrong. Youngsters form a minimal part of our population. That is also wrong. Youngsters are the maximum. Obviously. Now, according to Sigmund Freud, civilization is to some extent the cumulative product of our psychology. A, D, and E. Purpose of human life is the pursuit of happiness. Creative art reflects the purpose of human life. True. The, those are very clear. Civilization is analogous with the human psyche. Man is wholly good is obviously wrong. Abolition of private property, he did not talk about it. These are easy questions. Then uh, there is a match the following here. The collaborator, Mirza Wahid. Then B3, the garden of solitude, Siddhartha Gigu. Read, read up on all this. And uh, role of honor, Amandeep Sandhu. You know, they want you to be real knowledgeable people who have an interest in all, whatever is happening around you, who read a lot, who engage in discussions with other people who read the newspapers. So that is how you should mold yourself. 
uh answer is a, a one d is the half mother is by shahnaz bajir then identify the correct order of the publications again uh france here b correct order of publication wretched of the earth 1961 then next is robert young that is a th theoretical work then homike baba then uh, no a not robert young it is ernest geller sorry b d c e a let me read once again b franz vanen then ernest gellner then homike baba then robert young then simon gikandi we have to start reading up on all the names that we see in the uh, book in the you know question paper b a b d is the answer for this one let us read which among the following statements are true about emily bronte's wuthering heights this novel was published in 1847 correct eh? emily bronte published this novel under the name carar bell correct eh? lockwood and catherine linden obviously wrong uh, are not the main narrators the novel is unique for its abstention for, for from authorial intervention correct uh wuthering heights is the third novel is obviously wrong it is only the only novel by emily bronte easy question the calcutta chromosome is a novel exploring past and future it has been written by yo that's a very direct and easy question that is by amitabh ghosh of course arrange the following text chronologically bharatas natyashastra kshemendra auchitya vichara charcha भामहास काव्यालंकारा कुंतकास वक्रोक्ति जीवितम आनंदवर्धनास ध्वन्यालोका सो यू वी शुड नो देयर सेंचुरीज एंड ऑल लुक एट दिस ए सी ई डी बी ए सी ई डी बी वी हैव टू इंक्लूड दिस इन आवर एनसाइक्लोपीडिया व्हिच इज कमिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी इंक्लूडेड द सेंचुरीज शुड बी गिवन वेरी करेक्टली uh that is very important now so the uh, 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 indian english encyclopedia that we are making will help you with all this because we have included all these things my father is a professor of sanskrit and he taught me everything for the encyclopedia now given below are two statements discourses are cultural and social practices rooted in psychic and physical uh, reality foucault defines discourse discourses are social cultural practices correct puko defines discourse as the material manifestation of thought which shapes our subjectivity both are correct next question which two cities are referred to in charles dickens's a tale of two cities very direct question london and paris given below are two statements culture is one of the two or three most complicated words in the english language oh yeah uh, it you see you find that in our books that statement this is mainly because several different though related meanings have emerged correct correct that is also correct all happily happy families are alike every unhappy family that is anna karnina so dear friends there is a deadly combination of very easy questions and very difficult questions that is how they have made it so that uh, no, no nobody will get very low marks because there are many easy questions but then after that there are challenging questions that's the problem this is also a very easy question uh, heteroglossia is mikhail bakhtin structures of feeling is raymond williams ambiguity is william emson discourse is michel foucault easy in the the correct chronological order you should know of these early texts this is not difficult uh, if you know the centuries uh, divine comedy is obviously the oldest uh, not divine comedy beowulf is there sorry beowulf is the oldest beowulf was written in the 7th century divine comedy uh, samma theologica Th samma theologica uh, is medieval divine comedy is towards renaissance that is why acb Th st thomas aquinas uh, was a high medieval writer and then after that canterbury tales and then morte d'arthur it is easy actually if you just apply thought to it which what among the following is not true about anna karenina year of publication is given wrong everything else is correct 
Anna Karnina, many questions were there. Uh, non fictional narrative. Uh, follow the rabbit proof fence by Doris Pilkington Garimara is based on the real experience. As I teach this in class, it is correct. The names of the girls is wrong. You have to know their names. This is wrong. Molly, Daisy, Mary is wrong. Now, chronologically arrange the following works of Sri Aurobindo in accordance with their year of publication. This is a trick question, but it is actually a wrong question. So that's why we have marked it in red here. It is a challenge question uh, because the answer is wrong. The answer that they've given is wrong. You have to challenge it. Now, which among the following statements is not true about NEP 2020? Uh, answer given is the policy recommends that English language should be the only medium of instruction. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That is absolutely wrong against NEP. That is a very easy question. Which work of Franz, uh, Francis Bacon explains inductive method? Novum Organum. Novum Organum and uh, De Augmentis Sentiara means advancement of learning, I think. Now, which among the following are the... Novum Organum is the answer. Which among the following is the are the titles of periodicals? Is household words a periodical? This is there right from our exam, right from our material. Kafka's Metamorphosis is not a uh, periodical, obviously. All the others. Easy question. I teach this always. Then uh, waiting for Mahatma. This is also not difficult. Very easy. Waiting for Mahatma is Arkenarain. So many hungers is Bhabani Bhattacharya. The sword and the sickle, Mulkra Jan and distant drum is Manohar Malgunkar. Easy. How many major forms of drama have been described by Bharata? Ten. In our encyclopedia, we have also given the ten names. Uh, that is now important. Which among the following writers are popular for partition narratives? A, C and E. Krishna Sopti, Saros Kawasti and Rahi Mazum Raza. Because even if you don't know these names, you should know that Shashi Desh Pandey and Bharati Mukherjee are wrong. So that is easy. Choose the correct options in the new historicist reading of Dalit literature. A, B, C. Dalit literature does not essentialize. Correct, correct. Dalit, they're not asking what is correct, which of the correct options in new historicist reading. They don't essentialize. Essentializing is against new historicism. Dalit uh, writing has inflected the imminent meta narratives. Now the problem is these words and all could be confusing for many people. What is the meaning of uh, inflected the imminent meta narratives? There you will falter. There is no single location. Correct. Dalit writing is only a political category. The Dalit writing is also a political category. That is what new historicists would say. Only is wrong. Dalit writing is not grounded in history. It's absolutely wrong. So in many questions, dear friends, you don't have to know the answer. You have to know what is wrong. And what is wrong is very clearly wrong. Here, that is easy. Use the broader principles of research underscored by philosophical rationales. Using this is called... Uh, research methodology. I will explain all this in videos. What is research methodology? I'll explain. Which among the following uh, poems has not been composed by P.B. Shelley? It is. Which among the following has not been composed? Uh, very easy. Two Wordsworth is by Shelley. Him to Two Wordsworth is there in Coleridge also. When we two parted is wrong. An introduction is a poem of resistance and protest. Correct, eh? Uh, I'm a sick man. I'm a spiteful man. I always teach this. It is the beginning of notes from the underground. Uh, Christophine, she has been discussed by Gayatri Spivak in three women's texts. Christophine is in uh, White Sargasso Sea. Zilla is in Wuthering Heights. If you often, when you get two, you will be able to get the rest. Estella is in Great Expectations. Equefi, you don't have to know Equefi, but still you can get it. Things fall apart. Uh, many questions are easy now. This is also easy. The Castle of Otrando, a Gothic story. Tess of the Devils, a pure woman. Frankenstein, the modern Prometheus. Vanity Fair, a novel without a hero. Easy. 
this is also uh, to be contested. Our team has put a big cross mark there. Arrange the chronological sequence uh, in which of the following works in which the following works were published. The answer is not even given, given there. You can challenge it. That is direct mistake. Right. Um, then, given below are two statements. Uh, a Room of One's Own is a feminist essay about women's education, exclusion and writing by Virginia Woolf. Correct, eh? In other worlds is not by Edward Say. Directly wrong. Easy question. Uh, identify the poet and the following poems of the following poems. The Skylark. The Skylark, is it? The uh, Skylark, the Badger, the Gypsy Camp, the First Love. There are no options. Uh, there are options here. Uh, who wrote these? Is it John Clare? We think it is, but uh, we couldn't find correctly the answer. Maybe we have to check. I, I couldn't find all of these, but maybe it is John Clare. Skylark is, mis is uh, misleading. You might be tempted to write Shelley. <laughs> Right. Then uh, maybe maybe they want you to know that all these poems are not by any of these people because John Clare is the least that we know about. Yeah. Okay. Which of the following is true about Arthur Miller's plays? A and B. After the Fall is a semi-autobiographical play. It is. And uh, Incident of Witchy deals with Nazi persecution of the Jews. Long ago, this was uh, asked before also. So Arthur Miller, a American literature question. I know that many of you don't have American literature encyclopedia. It is better you have it because you know why in our encyclopedia, there are lots of good sections on uh, Canadian, Latin American and uh, uh, Indian diaspora. So many diasporic writers, Caribbean diaspora, all are there. In Antonio Gramsci's definition of an individual, which is the correct option, what they have given is A, B, and E. Every social group joining the world of population creates organically a strata of intellectuals. Intellectuals give homogeneity and awareness of a social group's function. Then the monopoly held by the ecclesiastics in the superstructural domain was not exercised without a contestation. A, B, and E. If you read carefully, you will understand. Then one more question uh, is easy. Very, very easy. Wretched of the Earth, Franz Fanon. Nation, narration, Homi Baba. Cultural Nibialism, Edward Said, the Imagine Communities, Benedict Anderson. Edgar Allan Poe is often called the originator of the short story. He defined the prose tale as a narrator which can be read in one sitting from half an hour to two hours. That's a very famous definition. Um, according to Greek mythology, who is a, who is Psyche? Psyche is the lover of Cupid and Psyche is a woman. She is not a goddess. So uh, she is a mortal woman. What is the correct order of publication of the novels of Charles Dickens? That is also a very, very easy question. But... Uh, Correct order of publication. C, D, C. Oliver Twist was the second, third novel. Second novel. C, then David Copperfield. D, 1850. Tale of Two Cities. Uh, you should know that Heart, Great Expectations is one of the last. Of all the great novels, Great Expectation is the last. After that, Mystery of Edwin Rood and only one or two with the our mutual friend. So easy to find because Oliver Twist's first Great Expectations last, it has to be. Which among the following is not a character from Jane Austen's persuasion? Miss Crawford. That is direct question from Jane Austen. Arrange the uh, chronologically. B, C, D, E, A. B, uses of literacy. You should know that. Very important, Richard Hogarth. B, C. Higher education, demand and response, you might not know. A local habitation, a sort of clowning and imagined life. So we have to start really going into 
the works by theorists. Lots of theorists we need to study. I will explain all this uh, one by one later because of lack of time. We can't do it in one video. Tony Morrison and Adrian Rich have contributed to a distinctive style. Correct. Uh, feminism, Adrian Rich observes, is the field where subjectivity and politics have to come together. But that is not the explanation of A. So that is also easy. Just a few more. Being a white man, in short, was a very concrete manner of being in the world. A way of taking hold of reality, language and thought. That is, uh, what is white man? White man is colonial authority. I think that's also an easy question. Which of the following assertions is or are not true? D and E are not true. Uh, you must be tired and bored. I'm not reading all of it now. Arrange the following in chronological order. B, A, E, D, C. That's correct. Uh, Hind Swaraj, Michel Foucault's order of things, Tony Bennett's formalism and Marxism. You know, the trick is not to uh, study every single uh, year of all the important works, but we, we should know a few important milestones. Uh, that is how it is. And also, there are some difficult questions in the exam that you need not write because some you can't answer 100%. Remember that also. Which of the following? If you, even if you answer all the um, easy and the, the ones that you should know, that is itself a lot of marks. Which of the following statements are valid for post-colonial theory and literature? The problem, guys, is that there is so much to read. You should be very, very, very adept at reading. If you just listen to lectures, that is not enough. If With your own reading only, you will pick up speed. That is very important. A, C, and E are the answers here. I'm not explaining. But that was actually easy if you read. Which of the following statements are relevant for understanding of postmodernism? Another postmodernism question. B, D, and E. You can pause the video and listen to me. Uh, uh, sorry, read it uh, without just listening to me. Then... Um, this is very easy. Hyperbole is an intentional exaggeration. You know that. Metonymy, referring to something by the name of something else. That is easy. Synecdoche is a figure of speech in which part represents the whole. Periphrasis is roundabout way of speaking or writing. The essay Discourse in the Novel is by Mikhail Bakhtin. Direct easy question. A true play is truly is three-dimensional. It's literature that walks and talks before our eyes. You may not have heard of this. It is Marjorie Bolton. Not easy. This is very easy. Sade is in uh, Beloved. Okonkwo is in Things Fall Apart. Offred is in Handmaid's Tale. Winston Smith is in 1984. So all the easy questions are factual questions that you should mug up and you should know. All the other questions are analytical questions for which you need practice for which you need your own reading as well. We will help you with both these in the coming exam. If you join our course, that is. Uh, or something we'll do in YouTube also, which should su sufficiently help you. Which of these is not a literary magazine? 101 Dalmatians is not a magazine. <laughs> Easy. Uh, identify the correct opinion of Julia Kristeva. C-D-E. This is also not that difficult. Uh, Cora is not liminal space. Anybody who knows Cora will know. It is not space of the marginalized. It is non-expressive totality. Correct. Cora has no fixed identity. It precedes the linguistic sign. It's easy if you know the concept. Then arrange the following chronologically. You have Chitra Banerjee, Divakrani, V.S. Nepal, Salman Rezdi. Some of these you should know. Then you will be able to guess. That is how it is. You don't have to know everything. Which of the following is not associated with cultural imperialism? Who? It is Stanley Fish, of course. That is direct, easy question. Uh, who is aptly, who, wh what does aptly define minor literature? Giles Deleuze and uh, Felix Guattari talked about minor literature that is included in my presentation also. I've taught this deterritorialization of language. That is, uh, you, you know, it is uh, about power and where you are from, where the position you're writing from. Roland Barth, in introduction to the structural analysis of narratives, proposed three levels of narrative structure. A, B, D. 
functions, actions, and narration. Functions, actions, and narration. Which of the following assumptions are true in the context of new criticism? Uh, A, B, D again. The new movement in literature popularized close reading of the text. A, B. The leading critics of new criticism are uh, yes and uh, D. This critical approach tends to discredit historical, social and political context. So these are true in the context of new criticism. I'm not reading completely. Which of the following novels of Hardy was first published in abridged form? Hearts Insurgent. Oh, that is a new information. Uh, Jude the Obscure. Then, which of the following are, is not true about Raymond Williams's views on culture? The masses do not participate in the creation of cultural values. That is wrong. That is wrong. Who among the following is the earliest available Indian dramatist? Bhasa, because Kalidasa has written about Bhasa. I have mentioned it in my Sanskrit notes and book uh, encyclopedia. Which among the following are not mentioned in the aspects of the novel by E.M. Foster? There are seven aspects of the novel and imagination and harmony are not there. Story, plot, prophecy are there. It is very easy question if you know about it. It is there in our encyclopedia. Name the poet who has composed the following poems. Uh, divine little boy found Holy Thursday. These are, I have mentioned in our book. It is William Blake. Uh, Transcendental Club began with the short treatise Emerson's Nature. Emerson's Nature, easy, Anna. It is. Which of the following questions on heroic treatment was not needed in the place of the university bits? Lives of common figures. They did not talk about lives of common figures always. Even though Tamberlane and Dr. Foster's are there. All the three were certainly there. That is why. These three completely there in all plays. Which of the following characteristics of she stoops to conquer is not correct. It does not cast excellent characters. Obviously is wrong. Um, choose the correct option. The fact that I am a black working class man will determine my worldview just as much. And perhaps far more than I consciously learn in the domain of ideas. I am a black working class man will determine my worldview. Which is the correct option? A, a, B, D, E. The unconscious determines human thought and behavior. We bear a form of otherness within ourselves. We can no longer talk unequivocally of a writer's intention. I'm sure the wrong uh, sentences we have to read, it will be completely wrong. Man is capable of making free choices in the sphere of intellection and morality. We are not all, always free. We are, we are determined by our position. And the C is man is condemned to be free. No, 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 no. Th that is wrong. Uh, who among the following writers remarked that? I know of no more encouraging fact than the uh, unquestionable ability of man to elevate his life by a conscious endeavor. That is Henry David Thoreau. Identify the correct options. B, C, D only. Homi Baba. Nationalist representation is defined by ambivalence. Nationalist representation engages with two contradictory mode of presentation. Then nationalist discourses are split by disruptive double narrative movement. The thing is, you have to sit there carefully read. If you read a lot of works already, you will be able to quickly understand. If you are not used to reading, it is difficult. Which of the following is true about Edward Said's uh, Orientalism? B, C, D only. Can you read for yourself? B, C, D only. Because it's YouTube live, nothing more will go into our heads. We have to, These are personally things that we should do or we should do in short, short videos. I will do that, okay? The term simulacra in postmodern discourse is about A and B. Absence of vivid presentation of reality. Uh, Artificially produced reality dubbed as authentic. Okay, these are questions that check your conceptual understanding. A portmanteau is an easy question, a word that results from blending two words. 
Antonio Gramsci's prison notebooks. Very easy question. Philosophy, culture, literature, role of intellectuals. Then, uh, uh, this is also easy question. Ambivalence, mix of attraction and repulsion. Correct. Uh, magic realism, inclusion of fantastic mythical elements. Correct. Abrogation, rejection. Miscegenation, marriage or cohabitation of different race people. Easy. Which of the following is not written by a sports person? <laughs> that a country called childhood a memoir. Sports uh, humanities and sports studies is there. That's why. Which among the following, who among the following declared there is no longer any intellectual life in England? It is Ezra Pound. Term gynocriticism, easy question. Production and analysis of writings by women on women. All writers since Chaucer have come from the middle class. Where has Virginia Woolf explained it? That is not an easy question. Leaning tower. A simple heart. Uh, these are stories. A simple heart is by uh, Gustave Flaubert. An outpost of progress is by Joseph Conrad. We have to really study short stories. There is an amazing book on short stories at Valat. I think you should all procure it. There are hundreds of short stories we have discussed there in a fun way. Uh, you know, short story, one uh, Bodhi tree short story book you should procure. Six feet of the country. That is by Nadeen Godimar. A horse and two goats is by R.K. Narayan. Prose romance has preceded the emergence of a novel as a popular literary genre. Which texts among the following fall under prose romance? Before the novel, uh, Urunoko and the Fair Jilt, both by Afra Ben. Who was the immediate, which of the following was the immediate predecessor of drama proper? The interlude, of course. Easy question. Sharan Kumar Limbale's views on Dalit literature, A, B, C. This brings out Dalit reality, which is liminal in space and time. This has unique historical and ideological concerns. And this offers literary and cultural representations of marginalized and dispossessed people. Which of the following statements best describe Anna Karnina's situation and worldview? A, B, E. I'm not reading. Did not Shakespeare hate and despise Iago and Edmund? It is from aspects of poetry. Uh, what is not true about D.H. Lawrence's sons and lovers? It is D and E. Easy, Anna. It is not difficult. About waiting for Godo. D and E. That is also easy. It is actually language. You know, they are testing your knowledge of language and speed of reading in many questions. They, that It is not even tough. Uh, William Tennessee Williams' uh, streetcar named Desire. It is A and C. Set in New Orleans leads with uh, easy question. Which among the following is uh, true? B and D. These are easy questions. Miscegenation is not about people of the same race. B and D is are directly correct. Aboriginals are the people of Australia, not India. Okay, the easy questions. Panopticism is a concept that refers to external spying. Obviously, Michelle Foucault, everybody knows. Correct chronological order of publication. The problem here is you will take a lot of time doing these questions. So that is where you need real practice. I am going to give you real, real practice that way, making tough questions and, you know, helping you with it. What is the correct chronological order of publication? Name the author or writer who is not associated with British cultural studies. I.A. Richards. In absurd theater, the characters often use disjoined, repetitive, and cliched speech. Uh, to A and D. That is also not difficult, but you should read carefully. Now, so, there is a uh, poetry appreciation. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? That is easy, actually. But uh, tough. Uh, the What is tough is that using that, they are asking from Indian logic and Indian criticism. That is the problem. Option A is the answer here. I will explain this. We will 
do uh, repeatedly these questions in YouTube. Then, Upamana, Upameya, such questions. The, the, but NT answer is correct for all this. I will prepare and help you with it. Don't worry. Address is masculine gender. It is one of the fair youth poems. That is easy to remember. Now, prose comprehension. And the answer is correct. You have to be really fast in uh, understanding comprehension and you have to really get practice there. This time we'll give you practice. So that is the end of this question paper. I know it was uh, not a an interesting video or session because I did not explain, but I had to go through all the questions for anybody. Some of some people uh, may not have written the exam. They would also want to re read the questions and there aren't many wrong questions this time. I think uh, for us, uh, it looks like only two questions are actually wrong because uh, the op options are not there at all. So if you find any more wrong questions, please tell us. Uh, some are doubtful, of course, uh, and cut off. Uh, I cannot really predict fully, but uh, now eighty nine. If you have got eighty or eighty eighty eight or eighty nine in general category, if you have got now, uh, and after the revised uh, answer sheet and mark list, if it becomes uh, ninety one, then it you have a fair chance to uh, clear the exam. Ninety one, ninety two. Uh, cut off can be little high, I think, not very low, um, but uh, there are fair chances for people who have got this much percentage. And this time, I think that it is not percentile, but percentage. So there'll be less confusion. Please go on studying. But what I understand from the question paper is you should really know deeply and not superficially. Take it seriously. Uh, if you're doing self-studying, uh, that may not be enough because it requires a lot of people to teach this. You have to, um, you know, really go in depth. So, and do not take shortcuts. This is against a uh, shortcut and uh, this is against a shortcut. Uh, this kind of, met this method of uh, analysis or a question paper shows us that shortcuts may not help you. So we are there to help if you want. In Earlier, I would say self-learning is important. Self-learning is enough. But this time, I would say, please try attending our classes. We will not cheat you. We will not um, you know, take unnecessary money. You will get immense uh, valuable information from the classes. And uh, you will be able to use it for the rest of your life, not only for net. So consider following our classes. The link to join will be there in the description of the video. And uh, I will see you, uh, if not in the class, in YouTube, no problem. Thank you very much. We will be back with small, small, small videos on the uh, questions, it, analyzing them in detail. Bye.